All right, guys, Google Pixel 2. This is not the XL. This is not the broken one. <laughs> this is the good edition of the Pixel 2. This is going to be an honest review of Google's new flagship phone for 2017, 2018, the Google Pixel. Stand by for an honest fanboy free look at the awesome new Google Pixel uh, from the people at Google. So jumping right in, what is the first thing you notice about this phone? Well, it looks exactly like the Google <laughs> Pixel 1. Um, I say that in a little bit of a jesting tone, but for the most part, it's really, really similar. I mean, if you compare the devices side by side, they are not substantially different. You'll notice I do have glass screen protectors on both of these phones, so they uh, look a little bit different than you would get them stock. But all in all, they are both robust designs. They are both sort of glass on top phone case on the bottom, center mounted fingerprint readers, single lens cameras, flashes. The biggest difference between the two, uh, other than the screen, which we'll get in here in a second, is the removal of the headphone jack. Google has done the terrible here and uh, removed its headphone jack, which frustrates me and frustrates a lot of other people too. But aside from that, the uh, Google Pixel, new Pixel, does have a water resistance rating. Um, it is a five inch display. It's probably more like 5.2. I don't know the spec exactly, but it is not a big phone like the XL or the iPhone Plus. It is co considered a normal size phone. Uh, it is very striking and very nice to hold on to. So when you first notice the phone, you'll notice that it's very slim, it's very thin, it's very sleek. Um, feels good in your hand, feels very quality. The construction of the phone feels nice. Uh, if you're a one-handed phone user like myself, you feel like you can reach most buttons and most corners of the screen. It's certainly not a bezel-less phone. You've seen a lot of phones now in 2017, 2018, like the iPhone 10, like the LG, I think it's the V30, have screens that go all the way to the edge. Well, the Google Pixel XL has a, or excuse me, Google Pixel 2 has a bezel and big bezels. So if you don't like bezels, you may not like the Pixel. Um, so definitely take that in consideration. Also, Galaxy users will note that the Samsung Galaxy S8 has an awesome edgeless sort of display. Uh, Google kind of feels like it's left uh, in the dust here with their design on the Pixel with this big top and big bottom bezel. But aside from that, very similar to the Pixel, like I said, body feels good, weatherproofing, you know, it's probably a little bit worse than the iPhone. It doesn't have a waterproof rating. I mean, you know, it's it's meant to have be splashed on. It's not meant to be submerged. How about that? That's kind of the way that Google advertises it. Um, it does come in three colors, the white, the black, and I think the blue as well. This is obviously the black version. The camera lens is a little bit sort of sticky outy. You can kind of see that. So it's raised a little bit from the back. Again, you compare that to the Pixel 1, nice and flush behind the glass. Um, I don't really know how I feel about that. I mean, I do use a thin case, which I'll talk about in a second, but it looks good. The quality looks good. Uh, the fit finish is nice and tight. You know, having the access to Google now, well, I'll get into that software here in a second, but the body's great. Uh, we do have a SIM slot here on the side. It does also come with a built-in eSIM that supports Google Fi. So if you're a Fi user, you actually don't need a SIM card, which is pretty awesome. Uh, stereo speakers out of the front and the bottom, which is really great. That's a nice addition to the Pixel 2. And what else have I left out? USB-C on the bottom, which is uh, the same as the Pixel. So yeah, all in all, really nice build quality, really nice sharp design looking, but bezels, gotta deal with the bezels. All right, so let's talk about like software and app opening and speed and all those good things. Well, the phone to me seems really fast and really solid. And again, it doesn't seem like a huge departure from the Google Pixel in terms of its speed, its reliability, its one-handed operation. You can see the always on screen here between the two of them. I'll put both fingers. Uh, actually, yeah, so you can see that there. Uh, let me just lock these again and you can kind of get a good idea. So one, two, three, I'll press my fingers. Hang on, I gotta get my finger back on the back of this. One, two, three. There you go. So really quick on both of these phones to open up. App screens, scrolling, all you know, all in all these phones are really, really similar. I mean, they're really not that much different. <laughs> um, so when you think about upgrading, you know, I mean, what's the point if you're coming from a Pixel 1 to a Pixel 2? I mean, I suppose it could be the camera. Camera in this phone is really nice. We'll talk about that here in a second. Um, one thing I would mention is like, if you look at the colors between the two devices, right? If you look at the contrast and the colors, I actually prefer the Pixel screen a little bit better. I think 
that the quality of the color is a little bit nicer. I mean, you look at the sharpness, not, not necessarily sharpness, but you look at the saturation levels. Pixel 1 is definitely more saturated. Um, Pixel 2 definitely reminds me more of like an iPhone screen, uh, the older iPhone screens, or let's say the non-iPhone 10 screen. Um, but all in all, the cam I mean, the, the, the screen qualities are similar. Let me just take a really quick picture here with both of these guys, and you can kind of get an idea of what I'm talking about. So, like, if we look at the quality of the screen on both of these, right, you can kind of see what I mean. Like, it's just very, very subtle, the differences, but a little bit brighter, a little bit more contrasty on the pixel. Uh, so you have to think about that. If you're a fan of saturated colors and if you're a fan of kind of samsung -y screens, um, the Pixel 2 is going to be a little bit of a dis disappointment. It was definitely noticeable when I first picked it up and first started playing around with it. Um, I do really like how apps run super fast. Android 8 is fantastic. Um, you know, no issues with it. I will say I have experienced one issue with Android 8 in regards to Android Auto. Uh, when I plug this thing into my Kenwood headset, in, or excuse me, head unit in my truck, uh, I have noticed that Android Auto ends up crashing, the head unit ends up not responding, um, the phone uh, causes the head unit to reboot <laughs> sort of mid, you know, mid application, which is annoying. Um, so that's one software thing that probably needs to be addressed either by Kenwood or by Google in terms of its Android Auto compatibility. Uh, other software things to, to think about, Google does have the squeeze option on this, which is nice. So you squeeze the phone, it launches Google Now. Uh, Google Now then listens to your voice and decides how it can help you. As you can see, it's dictating below on the screen. <laughs> um, that's pretty cool because you can kind of set the level of squeeze and it kind of just integrates nicely into the phone. You don't have to do anything. You can kind of do that on your way out of, the po out of your pocket too, which is awesome, which is really why I like the, the fingerprint reader here on the back too. Same kind of idea. So you reach in your pocket, squeeze the phone, take it out. Boom, Google Now is ready to go. Uh, ready to answer any sort of question or need that you may have in mind. All right, so the next biggest thing people are super jazzed about with the Pixel 2 is the camera. And the camera in this phone is fantastic. And the, probably the one and only reason why I would upgrade from a Pixel to a Pixel 2 is the camera. Uh, so if we launch the camera, you can kind of see the nice features you get with it. Uh, the biggest thing are the different modes you get, right? So you get a portrait mode in this, it's similar to what you've seen in the iPhone commercials. And I actually think it works super, super well. I just took a selfie off the deck here, kind of show you guys what I'm talking about. You can really notice uh, in the portrait mode, right? If I kind of bring this up, you can probably see it. Background blur behind me, right? Google does a really nice job sort of like incorporating uh, subtle changes between my shoulder and the blurry areas, right? So if you look kind of along my hat edge, you can see a little bit of a screw up right there, right? The blur kind of fades off into my, the logo on my hat. Um, but for the most part, it's really, really accurate and it works really, really well. Creates a nice looking portrait with a nice sort of bokeh effect uh, and is actually pretty, pretty, pretty well done. And so that works with selfie camera up front and the rear camera in the back. So that's probably the biggest, uh, you can see kind of the uh, not portrait mode here, right? Portrait mode. Now let's go back over here so you can see a little bit better. Portrait mode and nope. And not portrait mode. So hopefully that gives you an idea of, <clears throat> excuse me, of what the benefit to having that feature is. Um, otherwise the camera has a new motion feature, which is pretty cool. So like if we go back in time to here, you can turn motion on. This is just like the iPhone uh, live photos they call it so you can kind of see that there so it adds a nice little video a couple second video to your camera stills so you get a little bit of clip motion and you get the um, video still or still and clip as well you can turn that feature off if you like which is really great uh, Google does offer unlimited photo storage in their cloud which is nice you'll never have to worry about running out of space on your pixel 2 if you do like to take a lot of photos and videos um, so that pretty much wraps up the features and the awesomeness of this phone and what I'll get into next is kind of like why would you decide to buy this phone versus another phone um, specifically things like the iPhone 8 or the iPhone 10 you know the pixel Pixel 2 brings a really, really strong argument to the table. It is expensive. It is a full price phone. Gone are the days of the Nexus where we had cheaper discounted Android phones made by people who, you know, kind of were supported by Google. This is Google's second phone in the hardware business. So this is their full featured, full on frontal attack <laughs> of Apple in terms of being a hardware and software company. And then a really great job with this. I mean, if you kind of compare this to the iPhone 8, which we'll do in the next video, um, you'll kind of get the pluses and minuses of it. But if you're looking at a Pixel 2 versus a Galaxy S8, you know, or maybe even a Pixel 1 or an LG V30, 
I mean, the biggest thing is there's no bloatware, there's no nonsense software you have to worry about. You get, I think, two or three years of software updates from Google, which is really, really nice. You definitely get at least a two-year hardware warranty, which is awesome. So if anything happens in two years, um, that's a really great feature to have. Otherwise, the phone doesn't really differentiate a whole lot from the Pixel. So, I mean, it's certainly not something that stands out in the crowd. There's no wow factor. There's no like, hey, look at me, I've got a new phone, how awesome it is factor. It's very subtle. Only other Android geeks and other Pixel geeks will notice the fact that you have in your pocket a Google Pixel 2 versus a Google Pixel 1 or just some other nonsense, you know, Huawei or some other kind of crappy Android phone. Uh, so hopefully you guys enjoy this honest review of the Google Pixel 2. Um, I definitely enjoy it. It's definitely my uh, top-notch phone, my daily driver, the phone I like to keep in my pocket. And one plug for the actual Google case, which is an awesome, like, kind of carpeted, lovely, yum-yum case. Um, it does add a little bit of bulk, but it's really, really well designed and like it has a really nice feel to it. And I just, I like petting it, uh, but it does pick up grit and grease. So you can kind of see that there. So anyway, props to Google for a well-designed case as well. Uh, but uh, anyway, guys, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to check out everything else I have on YouTube. Stand by for iPhone versus Pixel videos and uh, rate, comment, and subscribe. Thanks.